Good evening. Before the Price is Right pricing and recap begins, please join me in a moment of silence for Haskell Wexler, who passed away back on Sunday, December 27th, at the age of 93. He was an American cinematographer, film producer, and director. He died in his sleep at his home in Santa Monica, California. And for Ian Fraser Kilmister, a.k.a. Lemmy, who passed away yesterday at the age of 70 years old. He was an English musician, singer, and songwriter, plus the founder of the heavy metal band Motorhead. He died from an extremely aggressive cancer that was diagnosed two days earlier in his home of Los Angeles, California. Thank you. And now, on to the recap. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Price is Right Pricing and Recap for this Tuesday, December 29th, 2015. Oh, can you believe that two days from now will be the final day of 2015? Well, tonight starts the first of two final recaps on my channel for this year. And, just to let you all know, I was very fortunate to watch today's show on CBS as I took a vacation day off from work. So now on to the first four contestants that were called to come on down. And they were... Romilly Purden. Chad Pettit. Regina Del Gesso and Jamel Moore. They were the first four contestants on The Price is Right. And today at the handoff, the ravishing Rachel Reynolds was the model that gave Drew the mic. And now on to the first item up for bids. It was three pairs of Christian Louboutin ladies' shoes. It included two pairs of patent leather pumps and one pair of glittery heels modeled by the awesome Amber Lancaster. The bids were Romilly, $950. Chad, $420. Regina, $1,400. And Jamel, $250. Okay, and the actual retail price of the Christian Louboutin shoes were $2,045. Regina was the first contestant to play a pricing game. And she joined Drew up on stage, and she gave him a big hug by jumping on to him and clutching on <laughs> and it was revealed her pricing was going to be played at door number two. 
standing on Drew's on the on the door's left side. Well, if you were seeing it actually on its right side, but what I'm trying to get at is Regina's pricing game was going to be Safe Crackers. Rachel opened up the safe, and inside that safe, Regina had a chance to win a Sea Doo GTS 130 personal watercraft with Zyman trailer included, modeled and been by Amber. Also in the safe was a GoPro Hero 4 mountable camera, one mount and one SanDisk 64 gig memory card with adapter included. That was modeled by Rachel. A Safe Crackers prize package worth $9,554. And Rachel then, uh, well, she was in charge of opening as well as closing the safe. Now it was up to Regina to crack the combination of the safe, which was also the price of the mountable camera. The numbers were 0, 7, and 5. For the first dial, Regina set that to 5. For the second dial, she set that to 7, and therefore by default she set the third dial to 0, making the price of the mountable camera, also the combination of the safe, $570. And I felt really good on that selection. So, when, when, um, when Regina twirled the wheel, and then pulled on the handle to see if she could open the safe. It turned out that the safe open! Regina won the watercraft and the camera! Oh, what a big win to start off the show! So, including the Christian Louboutin shoes, Regina currently won $11,599 in prizes. By the way, I'd like to note that Regina wore a tie-dye t-shirt that said on the front, Drew, carry me down. And on the back said, on to the price is right. Wow. What a, what a, what a great win. Love it. All right, the next contestant that was called to come on down by George Gray was Ina Wong. She was the next contestant on The Price is Right. And the next item up for bids was a 32 gig lightweight tablet plus one smart pen and one journal included, modeled by Rachel. The bids were, Ina, $2,000. Jamel, he said he has to go with his head, $800. Romilly, $801. And Chad, $1. And the actual retail price of the tablet, including the smart pen and journal, was $644. Chad, with his $1 bid, was the second contestant to play a pricing game. And Chad was playing it up on the turntable. We learned that Chad is from Ventura, California. And he had his own custom-made Come on down, you're the next contestant on The Price is Right t-shirt. And now for Chad, he was going to have a chance to win 
A new car! And it was a Nissan Sentra SV. It came equipped with a 1.8 liter engine, continuously variable transmission, splash guards, front wheel drive, plus carpeted floor mats and paint and fabric protection. It's the Nissan Sentra modeled by Amber. And Chad's pricing game was Money Game. Drew revealed the middle number of the price of the car to be an 8. And the Money Game board contained these numbers. On the top row, 76, 44, and 85. In the middle row, 17, 18, and 19. Chronological order. And bottom row had 27, 93, and 60. For Chad's first pick, he went with 19. And behind that number, Drew revealed that to have... The front of the car! Oh, man, off to a hot start there. Now Chad had to find the back of the car. His second pick was 76. So he went first went with the third selection in the middle row. Now he went with the first selection in the top row. Behind 76, Drew revealed that to have a dollar sign. So Chad won $76. For his third pick, Chad went with 44, the second number on the top row, and the season number, Price is Right, is currently at. Behind that number, Drew revealed that to have a dollar sign, as most of us expected. So Chad was now up to $120. For his fourth pick, Chad went with 85, which was the last choice on the top row. And behind 85, Drew revealed that number to have another dollar sign. So, Chad was up to $205, but he was down to his last chance. For his fifth and final pick, Chad went with 93, the second choice on the bottom row. And when Drew revealed what was behind number 93... It contained a dollar sign. Chad won a total of $298. After finding the front of the car right away, he bombed on the last four choices. Ugh, too bad. The back of the car was behind number 27. The actual retail price was $19,827. But Chad did win $298 for a consolation win. And including the tablet, Chad currently won $942 in cash and prizes. Okay, the next contestant called to come on down was Melissa Smith. And the next item up for bids was a six-piece Ricardo Beverly Hills hard side luggage collection modeled by Amber. The bids were Melissa, $1,500. Ina, $1,675. Jamel, $1,000. And Romilly, $1. And the actual retail price of the Ricardo Beverly Hills hard side luggage collection was $2,120. Ina was the third contestant to play a pricing game. She joined Drew up on stage near the giant price tag, as that's where she was playing her pricing game. Ina was wearing her Price is Right logo t-shirt. And now, um, when the, where there's luggage, when there's luggage, a trip is not far behind. 
And that's exactly the prize Ina was going to be playing for. Where specifically? Why, it was a trip to Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Ben Mason's home country. It is round trip coach for two from Los Angeles. And it includes a six night stay in an, exec in an executive suite. At the Renaissance Toronto Downtown Hotel, daily breakfast plus one dinner included, modeled by Rachel at door number four. Ina's pricing game was, pick a number. Now the price displayed for the trip to Toronto was 8000 blank 96 So the second number in the hundreds place was missing. Amber was over by the numbers 0, 4, and 7. Ina believed the second number in the price of the trip to Toronto was four, as that's what most of the audience was saying, so she went with them. So, Amber brought the number four over to be placed in the missing slot to make the price $8,496. This was all on the audience now. And when Drew revealed the missing number in the price of the trip, it turned out that it was... A zero. $8,096 was the actual retail price. And that was my guess as I was playing along. Well, the audience wasn't right that time. Uh, but Drew note that they're, they're not right all the time, so... Uh, but Ina still won the luggage from Ricardo Beverly Hills. All right, now it's time to find out who'd be the first contestant to make it into the showcase with Showcase Showdown number one. Chad spun the wheel first, and in his first spin, he landed on 80 cents. Chad chose to stay on that. Ina spun the wheel next. And for her first spin, she landed on 25 cents. So she had to spin again. She needed to get at least 55 cents, but no more than 75 cents. And adding to the quarter from her first spin, Ina got in her second spin 40 cents for a total of 65 cents. That was not enough to defeat Chad. Regina spun the wheel last. And in her first spin, she landed on 90 cents! And Regina was heading to the showcase. And for her excitement, she she threw herself down on the down on the floor and was absolutely amazed. Regina's having quite the day so far. She won safe crackers. And now she could possibly win more prizes in the showcase coming up. Now, uh, if you'd like to attend a taping of The Price is Right, uh, for tickets, go to PriceIsRight.com. Get all the details there. All right. The next contestant called to come on down was... Mark Middlestead. Mark with a C. Just to let you all know. And uh, before Mark's name was called to come on down, Drew mentioned that the real stars of The Price is Right are the contestants. And he is right in, I have to say. It does make logical sense because the contestants, they really know how to become the stars of the number one game show here in North America. The continent. All right, the next item up for bids was a Venture Games 12-foot shuffleboard table. Accessories included, modeled by Amber and Rachel. The bids were, Mark, $2,658. Very specific bid. Jamel, $750. Romilly, $1999. And Melissa... 751. 
And the actual retail price of the shuffleboard table was $2,495. Rama Lee was the fourth contestant to play a pricing game. And just like for Ina's pricing game, she joined Drew up on stage near the giant price tag. We learned that Romilly is from Montebello, California. Montebello. Pronouncing it the Italian name. And now for Romilly. She had a chance to win up to $25,000 in cash. Playing Punch a Bunch. Amber held the $25,000 Drew Carey novelty bill, while Rachel was over by the four small prizes. The first one was a Heaven Fresh Digital Food Steamer. The wrong price was $50, but was the actual retail price higher or lower than $50? Romilly believed the actual retail price was higher, and Rachel revealed that it was... Higher! $89 was the actual retail price. That was one punch one for Romilly there. The second small prize was an Interplax Sonic Water Jet. The wrong price was $99. Was its actual retail price higher or lower? Romilly believed the actual retail price was lower. And Rachel revealed that it was... Lower! $57 was the actual retail price. That was another punch one. For the third small prize was a Coleman LED flashlight. Wrong price, $63. Was the actual retail price higher or lower there? Romilly believed the actual retail price was lower, and Rachel revealed that it was lower. $35 was the actual retail price. That's a third punch one for Romilly. And the fourth and final small prize was a good cooking electronic kitchen gadget. The wrong price was $85. Romilly uh, had to know whether the actual retail price was higher or lower than that prize, and she believed that was lower than $85. Rachel revealed that it was lower. It was $60, the actual retail price. So... Romilly won all four punches. Now, here is where she placed her punches, did her punches on the punch board. For the first punch, third row, fourth hole. For the second punch, first row, ninth hole. For the third punch, fifth row, second hole. And for the fourth punch, first row, seventh hole. It's a good thing Amber was watching the punches because... Drew, uh, well, he, he needs someone to help him when it comes to punch punch. So for the first punch, when Drew was uh, revealing what the slip contained, he revealed it by saying actual retail price, <laughs> thinking he was still doing the one bids that contestants throw. Uh, well, for Romilly's first punch, she managed to win on that $2,500. That was not too bad. So she could either keep that or throw it away in hopes of finding uh, bigger cash to win. Romilly decided to throw away the $2,500, and I have to say that was quite a bit of a gamble to take. Well, let's see if it paid off for her. For the second punch, Romilly managed to win on that. Hmm. $250. Ten times less than $2,500. So she could throw that away or keep the, 20, the $250. She threw that away, obviously. For the third punch... Romilly managed to win on that. Well, it's an amount she already got uh, before. $250. So, uh, 
She didn't lose or gain anything there. So, she could keep that or throw that away. Romley decided to throw it away. And for her fourth and final punch, Romley had to end up with the amount of $500. So it was uh, times two. She won from 250 But But uh, I honestly would have kept the $2,500 if I was her. But $500 is better than nothing. So she won $500 in cash. And she also won the small prizes for a grand total of... Of $241. So she won $741 in cash and small prizes for our consolation win. And including the shuffleboard table, Romilly currently won $3,236 in cash and prizes. Okay, the next contestant called to come on down was Deborah Sanchez. She was the next contestant on the Price is Right. The next item up for bids was a Lazy Boy Outdoor 10-piece resin hand woven patio furniture set and a luma evaporative cooler evaporative cooler that was all modeled by rachel the bids were deborah eighteen hundred dollars melissa two thousand dollars mark one thousand six hundred eighty two dollars and jamel one thousand fifty dollars And the actual retail price of the patio furniture set and the evaporative cooler was $2,649. Melissa was the fifth contestant to play a pricing game. And she joined Drew up on stage near, um, by, nearby door number two. Not in the camera angle for safe crackers, but the opposite, uh, opposite way. Uh, Melissa was wearing a shirt that read Drew's Ladies. And between Drew's and Ladies was a dollar sign. And now, for Melissa, she was going to have a chance to win. Well, was not one, not two, but three prizes! They were a new spin bike, a new HCTV, and a new refrigerator. First, from Mad Dog Athletics was the spinning portable exercise spin bike. Eight DVDs, one towel, and gel seat cover included, modeled by Amber. Second was a Sony 75-inch LED HDTV. Features cool features such as voice search. That was modeled by Rachel. And third was a Samsung side-by-side -side refrigerator, also modeled by Rachel. And Melissa's pricing game was one wrong price. So, here were the three prices for the three prizes. For the spin bike, $1,326. For the HDTV, $3,500. And for the refrigerator, $3,045. As we know, one of those three prices was wrong. If Melissa could find the one wrong price, she would win all three prizes. Melissa went over to the prizes, and the one she believed that had the one wrong price was the refrigerator. So, Rachel was the one to reveal the price of the refrigerator, if it was anything other than $3,045, well, 
Melissa would win all three prizes. And Rachel revealed the price of the refrigerator to be... $2,399! Melissa found the one wrong price and won all three prizes! And, of course, the spin bike was $1,326, the HCTV was 3500 Melissa won a grand total of $7,225 in prizes! And including the outdoor furniture set and that evaporative cooler, Melissa currently won $9,874 in prizes. All right. Well, I can't believe it's that part of the recap now that I mentioned the final contestant that was called to come on down from today's show. And the lucky person to be called to come on down... Today, to end the show, was Philip Daniel. Didn't take long for him to come on down. He was like in the front row. So he had a very short come on down. And the final item up for bids today was an HP 27-inch NV27 touchscreen desktop computer plus a MyCloud 2TB personal cloud storage device. That was modeled by Amber on the turntable. The bids were, Philip, $1,900. Mark, $1,876. Jamel, $2,000. And Deborah, $1. And the actual retail price of the touchscreen desktop computer from HP was $1,550. Deborah was the final contestant to play a pricing game. And she joined Drew up on stage, and Deborah was wearing a custom made shirt that said on the front, The best B Day gift. And on the back it said, is to hear George say, come on down. Deborah was celebrating her birthday on the tape date of today's airing of The Price is Right. Well, Deborah got her wish of George calling her name to come on down. And uh, now she had a chance to win a prize that everyone would love to win on their birthday if they were on The Price is Right. And that was a new car. It was the Mini Cooper Hardtop. Came equipped with a 1.5 liter engine, center armrest, plus Steptronic automatic transmission, and paint and fabric protection. It's the Mini Cooper Hardtop modeled by Rachel. Deborah's pricing game was Stack the Deck. Amber was over by the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 9. Now, here were the first pair of grocery products. We had a 10 count box of Keebler waffle bowls, they are for ice cream, and a 15.25 ounce can of Green Giant Whole Kernel Sweet Corn. One of those products cost $3.59, and Deborah believed it was the waffle bowls. And the price of the waffle bowls were $3.59. Corn was $1.79. Deborah won a free number, and she went with the third number. And that was a 1. Very interesting. Okay, the next two grocery products were a 26-ounce bag of Orida Bold and Crispy Garlic and Pepper Steakhouse Fries, and a 2.3-ounce bottle of Maybelline Expert Eyes Makeup Remover. One of those products cost $5.99. Deborah believed it was the makeup remover. And the price of the makeup remover was $5.99. The fries were $3.99. Deborah won another free number. This time she chose the fifth number, and that was a six. And now for the final two grocery products. 
They were a six ounce box of Kraft Shake and Bake Barbecue Glaze Season Coating Mix and a 10 ounce bottle of Kiko Men Soy Sauce. One of those products cost $2.69. Deborah believed it was the soy sauce. And the price of the soy sauce was. $2.69! Deborah with a clean sweep on the grocery products. She won another free number, and she chose to go with the second number, which was a four. So she had to fill in the first number and the fourth number. Okay, for the first number, Deborah chose two. And for the fourth number, choosing either, well, let's see, either three, five, or nine. Deborah chose to go with the five. So the three and the nine were not used. And Deborah believed the price of the Mini Cooper hardtop was $24,156. Alright, so, when Drew pressed the button to reveal the actual retail price of the Mini Cooper hardtop, it turned out to be... $24,156. showcase with showcase showdown number two. Deborah spun the wheel first and in her first spin Deborah landed on 50 cents. Deborah chose to spin again and adding to the 50 cents from her first spin Deborah got in her second spin. Well how about this? for a total of one dollar and Deborah won a one thousand dollar bonus yeah oh looks like her luck has turned around there so Deborah will have a bonus spin after Romilly and Melissa take their spins okay Romilly spun next and in her first spin she landed on 90 cents so oh. She had to get a dime in her second spin. And adding to the 90 cents from her first spin, Romilly got in her second spin. 80 cents for a total of $1.70. She clearly went over. Melissa spun last, and in her first spin, she landed on 40 cents. Melissa now needed to get 60 cents in her second spin. And adding to the 40 cents from her first spin, Melissa got in her second spin... 50 cents for a total of 90 cents. That was 
not enough to, to, to get to Deborah's one dollar. All right, now it's time for Deborah's bonus spin. So she only gets one spin. She's got to make it. She had to make a count. Let's see if she managed to win either ten thousand dollars or twenty-five thousand dollars. Deborah gave the wheel a very big size spin in a way, and the speed of the wheel looked like it was going to land in the section she needed to get. And in the end, the result was Deborah landed on. 60 cents. The wheel went a little too fast. But she was headed to the showcase. So Deborah did not win the car and stack the deck, but she did manage to get uh, a dollar total for the $1,000 on the wheel. So that does make a nice birthday gift for herself. And now we'll see if she'll be doing some more winning in the showcases. All right, the top winner in today's showcase was Regina, and the runner-up was Deborah. Showcase number one. The theme of the prizes in that showcase was keep you warm all winter long. It started off with a Beachcomber Hot Tub's Leap Hot Tub with seating for eight. Second was a trip to St. Lucia for two, which is Round Trip Coach in Los Angeles, for a six-night stay in, in a one-bedroom pool view suite, at the Bay Gardens Beach Resort. Daily breakfast, one couple's massage, two half-day passes to Splash Island Water Park, and one couple's personal training session on the beach included. The hot tub and the trip to St. Lucia were modeled by Rachel. And third was a Hyundai Veloster Turbo. It included a 1.6 liter engine, six-speed automatic transmission, heated front seats, plus auto-dimming rear view mirror. Modeled by Amber. So, it was a new hot tub, a trip to St. Lucia, and a new car. And this showcase can either be for Regina or Deborah if the price is right. Regina chose to bid on this showcase, and she bid $28,000. Now on to showcase number two. The theme of the prizes in that showcase was... Showcase Secrets. And it started off with a trip to Washington for two. Washington State. And his round trip coach from Los Angeles to Seattle for a six-night stay in a queen room at Hotel Max. Plus a full-day whale-watching cruise on the San Juan Islands. Next was a trip to Spain for two, which is round trip coach from Los Angeles to Granada. For a six-night stay in a superior double room at the Hotel Casa 1800. Daily breakfast included, plus a private skip-the-line tour of Alhambra Palace. Both trips to Washington and Spain were modeled by Amber. And the third prize was a West White Potter 15-foot premium edition sailboat with trailer included, modeled by Rachel, that appeared behind the... Um, screens of the trips being represented. So it's trips to Washington State and Spain and a new sailboat. This showcase can be all for Deborah if the price is right. Deborah gave a bid of $26,500. And when the show came back from its final commercial break, it was time for the showcase reveal. Drew went to Deborah first. Deborah bid $26,500. The actual retail price of Deborah's showcase was $30,530 for a difference of $4,030. Now over to Regina. Regina bid $28,000. The actual retail price of Regina's showcase was Wow, $43,373 for a difference of $15,373, and that meant Deborah was the showcase winner! 
Well, she made a very nice comeback after losing out on Stack the Deck. Today, Deborah won a grand total in cash and prizes of... $33,080. Not a bad day for her, really. So, it was deuces wild today, as the two pricing games won were Safe Crackers and One Wrong Price. Our two losses came in Pick a Number and Stack the Deck. And the two Constellation wins were in Money Game and Punch a Bunch. Speaking of those um, two pricing games, we're going to move on to how much cash was won today. A grand total of $1,798 was given away. Um, Chad won $298 playing Money Game. Romilly won $500 playing Punch a Bunch. And Deborah won $1,000 in Showcase Showdown number two. The MVPs of the Price is Right are Regina and Melissa for their price game wins. And contestant recognition contestants go to Chad for a small money game win, to Romilly for her small punch a bunch win that includes the small prizes with those $500. And to Deborah for winning her showcase. Uh, BJN TV Canada's own Ben Mason did not supply me with any acknowledgments for tonight's recap, so you might have acknowledgments tomorrow, which will be my final pricing and recap of 2015, because Thursday, Neil Rocks 87 has the best of 2015 recap. The Price is Right pricing and recap this week is sponsored by Samuel Adams. Winter Lager. Alright, so... To end this recap for tonight, in honor of, uh, of Lemmy from Motorhead, I am going to close out this recap with one of the uh, themes he supplied for WWE. He is best known for Triple H's... Um, entrance themes, uh, Time to Play the Game, and King of Kings. He also supplied for uh, the stable Evolution with Line in the Sand. And that's what I'm going to play. One second, folks.
Sorry about the little delay, but there it is. So, this concludes the Price is Right pricing and recap for tonight. Thank you for inviting me onto your devices, and until tomorrow night, don't forget to help control the pet population by having your pets spayed or neutered. This is Mr. Horgan saying goodnight. See you all tomorrow. And rest in peace, Lemmy. <laughs>